Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, February the 20th, Lord have mercy, uh, 2022. Mama told me that when you get old, time truly flies, and that is so true. Uh, we are into the second month of this year, 2022, and time has been really flying. Amen. Whatever <clears throat> you're going to do, I, I suggest that you do it now because before you know it, uh, this year will be over and uh, you'll be a year older. We thank God for life. We thank God for this Sunday. We thank God for uh, allowing us to see this day, as the old folk used to say, uh, a day that we've never seen before. Uh, let's stand and let's read our mission statement together uh, and uh, <clears throat> then we'll go on to uh, hear the word of God, uh, hear what God had to say to us today. Our mission reads, the Grace Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church is commissioned to reach the unsaved, restore the unchurch and make disciples within the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. We are committed to evangelizing citizens with a whooping strength and elevate society by responding biblically by the talents faced by all members of our society. Our ultimate goal is to be a biblical model that glorifies God, expresses the love of Jesus Christ, and impacts the world through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Let's give God a praise for giving us a mission statement. You may be seated. Let's go to God in prayer. Our Father and our God, the creator and the sustainer of the universe, we come, Lord, and we glorify you. We magnify your holy name. We pray your presence in our midst today. Now, God, we pray that your word will go forth and it will not return unto you void, but it will accomplish its every purpose. Lord, we pray now, God, that, uh, Lord, someone may hear your word, may accept you as Lord and Savior. Create in me a clean heart, renew in me and us a right spirit. Lord, we pray now, God, that uh, you be glorified, Lord, in the body of Christ be edified. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. We thank God for his word today, and I, I want to <coughs> uh, go rehearse uh, a word that most of us are familiar, uh, and I do want to hope that it challenges us and uh, build us up to be better Christians. Found over in the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, start out, I'm, gonna, I'm going to just read verse 33. It reads, but seek first his kingdom in his righteousness and all of these things will be given to you as well as well let me read it right as well all right i want to talk about keeping first things first keeping first things first Many of us are familiar, uh, whether we are aware of it or not, of the kingdom of this world. We're familiar with the things of this world and how the things of this world or the kingdom of this world works. Uh, but, but even as believers, we are not as familiar with the kingdom 
of, of God. I want to talk about three things today briefly uh, and then let us go home. I want to talk about, first of all, the principles of the kingdom. Uh, and of course, we're talking about of God. The first thing is the kingdom has an, on, an honor, an owner, an owner, one who owns. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, the God is the owner of his kingdom. He always has been and he always will be. Uh, it is not up for negotiation that God is the owner of his kingdom. Amen. And uh, just like all kings, uh, the authority and power of his kingdom is based on how he rules and how much of the kingdom he owns. And, uh, and so uh, the kingdom has, the first idea is the kingdom has an owner, an owner. Not only does the kingdom has an owner, but the kingdom has an origin, where it comes from. Where does it come from? The kingdom of, of God is heaven, not earth. Uh, that we will live here on earth for a little while, but the kingdom of God is eternal. Is eternal. Amen kingdom of this earth, whether we believe or not, is passing away. Matter of fact, uh, did y'all get my text? We need to pray for this world because I hope I hope that we do not go into a, a war with Russia. Uh, because as we sit here, I'm thinking lives will be lost. Amen. And there will be a disarray over there. Uh, uh, and y'all pray because uh, Sweden, I didn't know it. I got back and looked at, the, at my map. Sweden is right near Russia. Yeah, right there it is. Uh, and of course, they're a neutral country, so to say. Uh, but war will affect uh, everyone. That's There's right. no way here uh, that when you lose lives that it does not affect you. But not only does the kingdom have an owner, the kingdom has an origin. Number three, the kingdom has ordinances. The kingdom has principles. And uh, there God has policies and procedures. Amen. If you want to live an effective life in the kingdom, that you must know and apply kingdom principle. Amen. That, that there are laws that that you must uh, uh, respect and operate in order to be an effective believer. An effective believer. Not only does the kingdom has honor and our kingdom has origin and the kingdom has audiences, but the kingdom has offspring. The kingdom has offspring. Uh, all of us by creation that God is, 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 is the creator of all all humans uh, but not only but he's only uh, the father of the offspring or the father of the offsprings uh, by conversion <coughs> that you must be converted in order to be a part of his kingdom or his offspring. Hmm. Amen. That you, every human being is the offspring by creation, Amen. but only some by conversion. That you must accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Hmm. Amen. Amen. No one uh, <clears throat> is a offspring of God because of our character. Amen. You might as well understand that. We are all there by conversion 
and the belief of Jesus who is the Savior. Amen. 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 None of us, let me help somebody, none of us are better than anybody else. Mm. None of us are, are, when I say that, are, as it relates to our care, we all are saved uh, by grace Amen. through faith. Amen. Understand that when, if you don't get nothing else from Pastor Anderson, please know that you are saved by grace Amen. Through, through faith. And, and not of our sit and he says and none of us should boast. Mm -hmm. Amen. We all gonna be in hell. Amen. Because we are saved. Amen. Amen. By grace. Amen. The kingdom has an owner, the kingdom has ordinances, an I mean an origin, ordinances, and an offspring. And last but certainly not least, the kingdom has an opponent. That there is an unseen force, Amen. whether you believe it or not. It's not like believing or not believing in Santa Claus, but the, the kingdom has an opponent, the devil. Amen. May not wear a red suit with horns, but he is real. Amen. And he operates, amen. Uh, that, that within the realms of the kingdom of this world, he is the ruler of the kingdom of this world. Amen. And so that is the basic principle of the kingdom of, of God. But not only do we need to look that the kingdom has principles, but the kingdom, the kingdom has the, the purpose. Uh, we need to look at the purpose of the kingdom. Uh, the purpose, what is the purpose of the kingdom. Number one, we are, amen, to expand kingdom citizenship. Our role, and we got to get back to that. Uh, Harvey was uh, talking uh, last week and brought it back up this week, and I said that he hadn't baptized anybody and over here, and I told him, Doc, you, you, if, you, you, if you baptize anybody within a year or near a year, you're doing better than we have. We have not baptized anybody in quite a while. And I want us to uh, get back to what we're supposed to be about as citizens of the kingdom, and that is, is to expand it, Amen. to a, a, expand the kingdom. And I want to encourage you to uh, rethink this idea of what church is. Church is not about uh, being a family the way we think it is. Mm. <coughs> when we think of a family, we talk about we know everybody in the church. That is not a healthy kingdom concept. We are to expand it, and you don't have to know everybody in your church. We got to get back to where we were, where as uh, uh, we have small groups. That that's the way you deal with that. Do, do y'all remember? I know we've been so long, Lord, forgive me, but it's been so long since we had growth groups. Amen. We got to get back to that, y'all. Uh, everybody in the church don't need nobody, but you do need to know somebody. That's right. Amen. And and uh, uh, it is it's the idea of a church family. It means keep it small enough so everybody know everybody. But that's not necessarily what, what you need. You need to know somebody, but you don't need to know everybody. Amen. Amen. A lights and walk and old folk. <laughs> Old pastor used to say, "Lights and walk." I know I'm right about it. Amen. That we need to be expanding it, and we need to be about getting more people involved in the kingdom of God, knowing God personally Amen. for themselves. Amen. All right. Amen. But uh, we that the purpose of the kingdom is to expand it. 
expand kingdom citizenship. B, we are to enlighten uh, uh, kingdom citizenship. To expand it means evangelism. We need to be involved in evangelism. We need to get back. <laughs> G, you remember that time? I remember uh, when G came, G was ready to go out every Saturday. You remember that, G? I said, Dr. Adam Byrne, yeah. <laughs> now you and uh, uh, help me out, uh, Ronnie. 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 Yeah. We'll go out every every Saturday and, and uh, wanted to give them sandwiches. I said, not good idea, but Doc, we don't necessarily go every Saturday, but that's a good idea. That's a great spirit to want everybody to, to know about Jesus Christ. That's right. But 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 uh, there, are not, there are ways to do it without necessarily burning yourself together. Uh, out. Uh, but it, it's about expanding the kingdom and discipleship. We've gotten away from it, church. We got to get back into Bible study. Amen. The key to growing people is how we can change people's lives. That, that they need to know how God wants them to live. Amen. Amen. That we ought to be involved in discipleship, teaching people the Word of God. But not only should we uh, about the, the purpose is enlightening kingdom citizenship, uh, expanding kingdom citizenship. Third, uh, third thing, we are to employ kingdom citizenship. <clears throat> that everybody be involved, amen, in serving mankind. We are to be representative of God here on planet Earth by serving people. Amen. And by serving people, that is one of the ways that people come to see God through us. That we are extensions of God, and the way that we are extend God in the world is by serving people. And the thing about people is that all people have needs. Amen. Amen. I I'll say it again. One of the reasons we are in Oak Cliff, right here in Oak Cliff, is because there are so many needs. That's right. This community is not running short of needs. Needs are great. And we are here on planet Earth to serve people representing God. That's right. Help me somebody. Amen. And that's what the kingdom is about, to serve, amen, the difference between a, a, a healthy and effective church is that an effective, healthy church serves. Amen. We're not in this community just to worship, but we're here to be outside the walls and serve the people that, that in need. Amen. 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 And can I say it again? <clears throat> that we're no better than the people outside these walls. Now you may you you may you may be more intelligent or all that. You may have more resources and all of that, but you'll know better. Because we all need Jesus. That's right. We are we all are in the need of Jesus and our job is to tell the people that, that they need Jesus <coughs> and to help them in 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 in, in, in assist them in, in practical ways. Amen. Amen. So as to elevate uh, the pursuit of the kingdom of God. Ex uh, the pursuing what the kingdom is about. And it has a purpose and that is to expand, enlighten, and to employ kingdomship. Not only do we need to talk about the kingdom's purpose, but we need to talk about the kingdom's purity. And one of the things that we need to understand it is that you cannot, amen, be effective if you stay in the devil's yard. You know, I talked about uh, some time ago 
about how uh, Pastor Bailey talked about how he was walking down the street and he, he ran up in this man's yard and uh, he saw his dog and he saw his dog coming to attack him. And he said he embraced himself to get bitten by this dog and to come to find out that the dog was on the chain. And as long as he stayed out the devil's yard or the dog's yard, that he could not bite it. And the key is that in order for us to be effective kingdom citizens, we have to stay out the devil's yard. Amen. Amen. That as long as you stay out the enemy's yard, he cannot bite you. Hmm. Amen. And we can be effective. Not only do we need to talk about the pursuit of the kingdom, but the priority. I didn't put that on there, I don't think. The priority, yes I did, the priority of the kingdom. Uh, the priority of the kingdom is to seek our purpose first and not last. Not when we can get to it, but it ought to be the first thing that we do. You can always get to the first thing that you do. Amen. It's just like planning your day. Whatever you want to accomplish in your day, do it first. Hmm. And you sure to, to accomplish it. Amen. Amen. The, the, put the worldly things secondary. Amen. But seek the kingdom first. Not only when you talk about the distraction, but we also need to talk about the dynamics. If we take care, here is the dynamics. If you take care, listen to this, and, and try it and see if I'm, if I'm telling it there. If you take care of God's business, he'll take care of yours. Amen. Amen. If, if you take care of doing what God has called us to do, expanding and enlightening, amen, and employing kingdom citizenship, God will take care of your. God will take care of paying your bill and, and feeding you if you take care of his first. Amen. Not, 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 and most of us, whether we'll be honest or not, are in such pursuit of survival that we never get to the things <laughs> of God. But that's where faith comes in. That's where if you take care of uh, trust God, you'll see that it works. Amen. Some of us will never know seeking the kingdom first works because we never do. That's right. And and so I I I, I challenge us as a church hmm. to seek the kingdom. Now, if you don't believe if uh, if you don't believe it, you have to do it. But can I tell y'all? But they're going on now some 28 years. Well, even before that, God has taken care of me. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I've been in some tights. You say, uh, you say, you may have to borrow, but you'll never have to be. That's what the old folks say. Same thing. But, but, but you, 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 you uh, it, it, that David said that I was young and now I'm old, but I never see the righteous, the righteous forsaken. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. brother, y'all. <laughs> if you take care of him, praise God. He'll take care of you. Give thing. God the glory and the praise. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's it. Understanding the kingdom and keeping. First things first. All right, if you're here today, and, uh, first of all, I want to challenge you to give. If you have not given, I want to encourage you to give today. Uh, got to, like I say, uh, you have to apply God's principles to see it work. That if you tithe, God will take care of you. That's right. He'll take care of you. He'll take care of you. I won't tell you that he will do it, uh, but you got to try. Uh, if you uh, have uh, give to give, uh, you go to our cash app, 
give us show us that on the screen, uh, our cash app, or if you're not familiar <coughs> with it, to call Chris Skaggs, he'll be more than happy to give you instructions uh, in uh, giving through the cash app. Also, I want to encourage our members, please let us get back members. I know we're all busy. Uh, some of us, of course, are working and doing that hour, but I want to encourage <coughs> us to uh, attend prayer meeting uh, uh, on uh, our Zoom. Uh, that that uh, address for Zoom is 794-040-1471. Uh, 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 I do want to encourage you to take our time to, to pray. Let us not get to the point where God has to force us uh, to pray. Let us do it out of spiritual maturity because we know that God desires uh, for us to come uh, and uh, ask him for what we want. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's like any king, uh, his kingdom uh, uh, authority is based on how people request things from him. God desires for us to pray, to commune with him. Amen? Amen? And so I want to encourage you to do that. Amen? Amen. All right, well, that's all for this Sunday. I do want to encourage those uh, out in Facebook and YouTube. I do want to encourage you to tune in next Sunday, same time, same place, and same stations. Uh, and let's go to prayer. Oh God, in prayer at this time. Father, we thank you for your word. God, your word is so simple. You have given us worldly examples of what the kingdom is about. And now, God, we pray that your word will not return to you, Lord, but it will accomplish its purpose, that we as your people will be edified and that you will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. See you next Sunday. Thank those.